Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa and I am going to do a little haul video. I did do a little bit of shopping, which I don't do very often, but I did do a little bit of shopping so I thought I would show the goodies that I did pick up. And the first place that I will show you things from is Tuesday morning. So I did get a few 6x6 paper pads. They're all older collections, so there's nothing brand new, but I don't have any of them, so they're new to me. This first one is the Summer Loving, or Summer Lovin' by Cartabella, and this one's by Samantha Walker, and this one was from 2014. And just a quick flip. This is old, so nothing extremely new here, but I like the colors. Make some good summer pages with this. And if you want the item number, it is right there. I will hopefully get it there. It's 1994840. The next one I picked up was Girl Squad from Pebbles. And this one was from I don't see a year. Oh, 2017. So this one was one of the newer. And you've definitely probably seen this. It's been out, obviously, for a while as well. So this is Girl Squad, and that is the number. So it is 1980695. I like this one, especially that coffee paper, for sure. The next one was Fine and Dandy, and this is by Echo Park. I'm not going to flip through these ones. I figure these are all the patterns that are in it. If you want to see a flip through, let me know. But again, these are all older paper pads, so I'm not expecting anyone to be finding these to be new. Um, but I thought the patterns in this one were really cute. I like that little turtle paper, even though I'm not really sure I'm going to use it, but it's really cute. The other thing I like about these is they're double-sided. A lot of them, I think everything but the Girl Squad one is double-sided, which I do like that because oftentimes I like the B sides rather than the A sides. So, very usable. The code for this one is 2020523. And the next one is For the Record 2 from Echo Park. And I loved this collection when it came out originally, and that's a while. I think this is like 2013-ish, but I really like the colors of this one, so I picked it up. And the number for that one is 2020521. So hopefully you can see that. The last one I picked up was this Teacher's Pet and I don't know how old this one was. This one is 2015. This was by Jen Gallagher. And my husband is actually a math teacher, a high school math teacher, and we homeschool. So I'm always looking for some good teacher or school type papers. And I actually don't have any or very little in my stash. I think I have some old October afternoon, but that's it. So I decided to grab this paper pad and so the number for that one is 1994844 so I like this one a lot do some back to school pages with that one I only did grabbed one 12 by 12 pack of or collection I guess I should say and it was the beautiful life by Echo Park and this one's from 2013 but this floral paper here which hopefully there's not too much of a glare since I'm not going to really take it out of the package. But this floral paper was one of my all-time favorite florals. And I never had the whole collection of Beautiful Life. I only had, I think, this piece, this one, and that one. I only had like three or four of this entire collection. And I completely used this entire floral paper and fussy cut all the flowers. And I absolutely loved it. So when I saw that they had this, I grabbed it because, yeah, by far one of my most favorite collections ever. 
and then that's the sticker sheet that comes with it. I love the colors. I love this blue. This There's like a dark navy and then there's the lighter and then it has the teals and the yellows and I love pink and red together. So yeah, one of my favorite collections. And the number for that one, hopefully I can get it to show up here, is 1972490. And again, it's not a new collection, but it was one of my favorites. Now, these are all the little bits and pieces that I picked up. First thing is I picked up from Jelly Bean Soup this washi. And it's a red washi with words on it. And it has things like make it happen, big day, these moments, do what you love, hello today, and I, I, said, I think the other one is I got this. So really cute sayings. I like that. I like that I can tear it and just have like a specific one or I can do multiple depending on my layout. And the number for that one is very small. Hopefully it shows up. 1910046. So I did grab that. Not that I need more washi tape, but I liked that one. And then I also grabbed this one by Bo Bunny. And it was. I forget what collection this was from. Miss Modern. Or Modern Miss, I guess I should say. And to be honest, the reason I picked it up was because of that navy. Um, thinner washi tape that's like a film strip. I absolutely love that. And yeah, that's I this one I can take it or leave it. It's just a ticket set of tickets. Um but yeah, that one I love that navy film strip washi. So I snagged this one. It was only 99 cents, so I figured good deal. And this one is 1962385. Next, I grabbed some ta or some tags, and this is the DIY shop for American Craft, and these are just the white with the text. I love these to just use for layers and embellishments and clustering. It can never go wrong, I don't think, with a good tag. And so this one is 1974102. Then I actually was able to find some pieces from the Create Paper Good Vibes collection, which is relatively new. I mean, it only came out in 2017, so for Tuesday morning, I figure that's kind of new. And I had bought some pieces from this collection, but I never did get these frames with the little pom-poms around the edges, and I love them, so I was super excited to find these. And so... The number for that is 2028508, and I was lucky enough to snag. This was the only package that they had, so I was pretty excited. Can't wait to put those on some layouts. The other one that I grabbed was the Ephemera Pack from Good Vibes, which, again, I was excited to find this. I actually do have this, but I like the pieces in this one. There was some really good, cute, easy-to-layer and cluster pieces in this collection, and so... I grabbed it. For $1.99, I didn't want to pass it up. And that is 2028507. I also wanted to ask if <coughs> if anyone was interested. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. If anyone was interested, if anyone likes the idea of putting sort of a, a page kit or a stash kit together. And instead of basing it on starting with papers first, basing it on an actual ephemera pack. So like I have some ephemera packs that I haven't opened and separated out by color or, you know, taken out of its original package. I'm wondering if anyone's interested in me taking one of those embellishment packages. Maybe it'll be good vibes or maybe it'll be something else, but taking one of those and actually basing a stash kit off of the embellishment so or the ephemera pack of a collection as opposed to starting with papers and building from there. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys would be interested in in seeing a kit built from say embellishments instead of the other way around from paper to embellishments. So starting it 
from embellishments all the way through. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. And if that's something people are interested in seeing, my take on how to build a kit or a stash kit from an embellishment or a set of ephemera to a full kit, I will make a video and put a stash kit together maybe to use next month or something along that line. So I did grab this ephemera pack. And then I also grabbed these Tim Holtz label stickers and they have, hopefully there's not too much of a glare, they have a black and gold, a white and gold, and then a silver and black and a silver and white set of labels. And I, I love labels, so I figured for $1.49, that was a good deal. One nine or yeah, one nine five seven eight nine two is the number for that one. And then I found these love and lemon stickers, and it's there's a couple of sheets, and it's all the same color, and they had these green ones, and I thought they could be cute, you know, to use for making my own embellishments or layering up. I like the little pieces the best, but I can definitely use some of these up top. So. Again, I, gra I saw these ones in green, so I grabbed these ones. And the number for that is 1968890. I grabbed this stamp set, which is from Fancy Pants Take Note Collection. I don't know how old this one is. 2017, so again, not too, not too old. I liked this one. I really love this reading in the book sh with the books. And then this winning one is kind of fun. And then I do like the five stars. So I figured a lot of kind of useful sort of icons and different little things that I can use on layouts or in traveler, traveler's notebooks or anything like that. So this one is 1954748. And then I was very excited to find this. This is Tim Holtz mini stencils and it, this one has these two florals and then it has five tags but I really bought it for the for these floral stencils I love the floral stencils and I actually love that they're smaller because I will use these on scrapbook pages and I like that they're really small and so I can put them and scatter them around a scrapbook page so I was really excited to find these and I don't know when these were from, but yeah, these are really cute. I love both those florals. I love florals anyway, and so both of those are really beautiful. And the number for this is 1981433. Last from Tuesday morning was this set of stencils. So there's two stencils in this. There's this chevron pattern and then there's this circle, circular pattern. And I actually bought it for the circular one. I just, I love this design. And I figure like if I wanted to, I, I could just sometime do just the big one or I could do the middle one or the, just the small one and put it throughout the, throughout a page. But I found it an interesting sort of stencil. I really liked it. I have a couple of chevron ones, but this one's a larger size, so that might be kind of fun to put on a, a page. So I grabbed this one. Oops, sorry guys, hit my camera. Let's see if I can get this over so you can see it. It's one or two zero one two nine seven nine. So that is my Tuesday morning haul. And then my next haul came from Joann's. And I had told Janet from RTS Scrapbooking the other day that I had gone shopping and that I had bought a collection, a fall collection, and that I had thought of her when I bought it. So shout out to jo to Janet. This one is definitely for you. I thought of you when I bought this. And actually, I think Jen Scow recently did a show of this whole collection, so I won't you know, flip through every page, but it does have some beautiful florals and beautiful fall colors, and it has the gold accents in this collection, and it has beautiful wood grains. It has this wood grain, and then it has this beautiful dark wood grain 
And that alone was enough for me to buy this collection. It has this sort of really cool geometric pattern in it as well. So yeah, this it's beautiful. I don't typically go for fall collections because I live in Florida. I don't use. <laughs> we don't really have fall. So, but I still like to do some photos from Thanksgiving and things like that that are in fall colors, even though I don't really get the season of fall. But I also like this for, I have some old photos, like some photos of me growing up or my husband or his family or even my family from older when we were younger. And so I often like to use these kind of colors to scrap some of those older pictures especially too when some of them are not they kind of get a little discol discolored or they get older I like to keep that even if I reprint them I try to keep some of that sort of sepia almost tones and so these colors I always find work really well with those and so that alone was enough to to let me get this collection and use it for that and I can't resist a good wood grain and that one and the other are just beautiful. So this is that I did get the six by six as well as the 12 by 12, which again, looks the same. The only, the fun thing about this one is it does come with a sticker sheet, which is beautiful. And Jen Scow did do a layout with this and she used a lot of these stickers. So I definitely, I'll try to, I'll link her channel below because she showed the entire collection and then made a layout, which was really beautiful. And so this paper here, I love this navy with the gold leaves. I really want to fussy cut all of these and then make a, like put it on like a background like this and then make a wreath and put my photo in the middle or off to the side. I think it would be beautiful. I just love those leaves. There's, it's, it's a beautiful collection. I love that it's double-sided. I'm not so crazy about the photorealistic papers. This one's pretty. I do like the trees, but I'm not, I'm pretty sure I would probably use this red side more so than the trees. But I definitely if, recommend if you're looking for a fall collection, this is a great one. I, like I said, I don't usually get fall collections, but... This is one of the few fall collections that I've seen that I really fell in love with and I thought it was really beautiful and I thought Die Cuts with a View did an excellent job with this fall collection. So I snagged that one at Joann's and then while I was at Joann's and this actually has nothing to do with scrapbooking, <laughs> but the other thing that I like to do when I want to be creative, but I don't want to necessarily sit in my scrapbook room, I sometimes we'll pull out and do some cross stitching. So I did grab, and they had them all on clearance, so I did grab a couple of these cross stitch style little kits. And these three are, so it's black, and then a brown, and then a white. And these are all leather. And then on the back it gives you patterns to cross stitch, or you could make your own, and you just cross stitch it. And these are brace, so these three are bracelets, and then this is a necklace. So I'm thinking Christmas gifts will be coming with some of these. I think this is really cute for my daughter, this silver chain with the, the heart. And then each one of them has different patterns, so they're really fun. I love these bracelets. They're real leather, and they, um, they're really soft. They're really beautiful. So if you like cross-stitching, you can always check out your Joann's store and at mine they had them on clearance which was a great deal so I use embroidery floss with my scrapbooking so I have plenty of it laying around and so sometimes in the evenings when I don't want to get in my scrapbook room I'll pull something like this out and just cross stitch a little bit of one of these and hopefully get some done for Christmas so last but not least the other thing that I'm most excited about that I got new were some stamps from Alta New and the coordinating dies. So the first one is this beautiful cabbage rose floral and that's what it looks like here and then it has the words just for you but I really love that floral and it does show on the back here how to stamp it. It does come with some leaves 
And then I also got the coordinating die set for this. But I love a good floral. And this one was beautiful. I like how big it is. I love to do layouts with lots of florals, especially if you see my Felicity Jane uh, pages this past month. Yeah, I love the florals. So I'm excited to try stamping my own florals. And so on that note, I also picked up the Build a Flower set, which are the peony blossoms. I love peonies, and this is beautiful. I like that there's two sizes, or three sizes, I should say, so small, medium, and large. And that is the back. So you got some leaves, and you got the three sizes. And then I also got the coordinating die for each of the flowers and the leaves and even the centers. So yeah, I'm excited to play with this and do some florals on some of my pages. And with that, that is my haul. So not a bad little haul. I hopefully, there's a couple other things that I would like to get. I don't know if I'll get them, <laughs> but I know that the Field Notes collection from Vicki Booten, I, wanted, I would love to pick that up. So you might see another haul from me in a little bit. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can swing getting a few other new goodies into my stash. So with that, guys, I will leave you. And if you have any questions or if you are interested in me making a kit from starting from an ephemera pack, then, like I said, leave me a comment down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.